Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Christian Hannah Hall here today, and today, guys, looking at the Synapse Limited Edition, special limited edition release of Demons 1 and 2. Now, this is the Blu-ray version, and I'm actually going to start this video out with something uh, interesting. I, I had a number of people messaging me when I showed that I got this, asking me why I didn't get the 4K version, elephant in the room kind of thing, because I had talked about this when it came out, and I was very excited. This is kind of personal, but you guys deserve an answer, and I figured let's just get it out in this video. So what happened was, after all those Halloween 4Ks, that certainly took a you know a chunk out of everybody's out of every, everybody's wallet. I definitely want to get this 4K set, but I'm gonna hold off for just a little while and then kind of recoup and pick it up down the road, maybe a month and a half, two months later, and all would be right with the world. And I was gonna get I was gonna get this set 4K version. Well, I actually just had an anniversary. And my mom wanted to get me a present. She was like, son, what do you want? And I was going to ask her for the 4K set, but I, I the price of it is $80 on Amazon. It may be a little cheaper on Synapse, I'm not sure, uh, but I, I use Amazon for everything. And I was going to ask her for that, but my conscience was telling me, Christian, don't ask your mom for an $80 set of two movies. You know, it's, that's expensive. At the same time, all of a sudden, Piz happened to review this Blu-ray version of it and talked really good about it said it was really great set and the blu-rays looked fantastic and spoiler alert they do look fantastic these are 4k restorations and the price was half of the 4k set at the time they may be a little higher or lower now but i got it for 40 dollars so i asked my mom to get me this and she obliged and i felt way less guilty about asking her to get me this than an 80 dollar version of it so that's why so surely the 4k set is going to look better so when i talk about the picture quality just double it times two. But in all seriousness, guys, I'm so excited to talk about the Demons 1 and 2 set from Synapse. I am a massive Demons fan. I love these movies with a passion. I have said this before, and I think this is the truth. I think that the Demons films are the gateway to getting into Italian horror. And I'll explain why. But Demons and Demons 2, very brief discussion about these films, because if I, I dare not just want to spoil them. This may sound interesting to you, but Demons is one of the best zombie films I've ever seen. And what I mean by that is the way it plays out. Getting scratched, cut, bit, whatever, will turn you into a demon. And these suckers, as you can see, are creepy looking. So the first Demons is great. It's got this really simplistic storyline. These two girls, they're at school, they want to go to this theater, they get these tickets to the Metropole, and they're like, let's just cut class and have a good time, let's go see this horror movie. They meet a couple guys, it's a nice little sleepy date night thing for them, everything's fun, they're watching a horror movie. Slowly but surely, people in this theater start turning dark. It really is a bombastic, energetic, fun movie, and it plays out, in my opinion, like a zombie film. And the claustrophobia of being in this theater really elevates the the levity of what's going on in these movies. Now, these are Italian movies, but what I think is so awesome about these movies is I haven't seen this too, too often. I've seen it before in Creepers, also known as, uh, I think, Phenomena, if memory serves, another Dario Argento film. They use heavy metal, red, white, and blue rock and roll in here. Motley Crue's in here, Billy Idol's in here, uh, how many other bands in here, uh, my favorite, one of my favorite bands ever is in here, Go West has a song in here, We Close Your Eyes, which is the best song in the movie, and that's not up for discussion. It, the music is so Americana in here, it is amazing, and it really gives this homey American touch to the viewer, and I think it's a... It's a baby step into getting into Italian horror. Like, for, like you wouldn't want to just jump into House by the Cemetery if you've never gotten into Italian horror. Demons is a perfect movie to jump into to get into Italian horror. I love this movie. I think it's just a really fun, great, awesome special effect. Italian special effects is just different. When you see Italian special effects, you know it. But it is brilliant special effects in this. The demon makeup is fantastic. There are moments that will make you go, oh, God. There are moments that will make you say, oh, that looks really cool. And it's great. So Demons is a classic, perfect Italian horror movie. Demons 2 is wild. You ask me, what is the definitive Demons movie? Without question, it's Demons. I love Demons 2, though, but... 
it certainly has a lesser reputation. The truth is, if I had to give it an analogy or a metaphor, so to speak, I would say that Demons 2 feels more like what should probably have been like a Demons 4. So, in the first movie, it is this really ground-laid horror film about people turning into demons in this theater, and it's spreading like a virus. And in Demons 2, a demon is coming through a TV like Horace Pinker and Shocker. And I'll leave it at that. With that being said, though, Demons 2 takes a lot of what the first film did and either tries to go bigger, badder, and better with it and either succeeds or not succeeds, but it's still a great, entertaining, fun movie. It's more of the lighter, I would say a little bit more comedic. For instance, there is a demon baby (laughs) in Demons 2. So, Demons is the definitive version of all these films, but I like Demons 2. It is goofier, it is more wild, the special effects still look great, and the soundtrack, while it may not be as forceful and ever-present as the first Demons, Demons 2 has the cult in there, and the cult is one of the greatest bands ever. And that's also not up for discussion. So, these two movies are staples for Italian horror. I think they're great gateway movies that will help ease you into Italian horror if you've not ever gotten into it. They're just tailor-made for horror fans today that are saying, Hey, I keep seeing people talk about Italian horror. What should I get into? This is it. This set is perfect for you, I tell you. It's this and Zombie from Lucio Fulci. Those are the perfect gateways, I think. So as far as the presentation of this, this is the artwork, and they did a really good job on that artwork. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. I think that looks fantastic. There's the spine, Demons 1 and 2. Special features. Now, the special features are bountiful and plentiful. You get uncompressed audio, DTS, on both of these, 5.1s on both of them, and the audio is very important because of the soundtrack of these movies. you got to have good audio, and thankfully... They crushed. I mean, they sounded fantastic. When Motley Crue hit on Demons 1, sounded great. When Billy Idol hit in Demons 1, it was just like listening to the master tape for those recordings. I mean, it sounded fantastic. Great stuff. Uh, you get a lot of interviews, uh, new audio commentaries with, with actors from the movies. Produced by Dario Argento was something on disc one that I really loved. It's a dialogue heavy dialogue. Somebody's voicing Dario's voice because I don't think Dario speaks English all that well. At least not well enough to do this kind of uh, biography they did on him. But It's an autobiography, but it's an autobiographical you know, documentary going over all the works that Dario worked on and produced and his, his uh, desire to not want to be a producer. He did not like being a producer, but he did it because it was friends he was helping or it was certain stuff on screen he wanted to make sure got in the movie. But it went over his career, which was so great. I actually have a movie from him called The Church that I've been meaning to watch, and this one sparked massive interest for me to pop that in next. So my Italian kick is kicking up again right now. Many, many special features. Many special features. Uh, splatter punk rock interview with... Atavia Della Della Quia. Uh, excuse me, I'm gonna butcher that name. Sorry. Uh, so the versions on disc one. Let's go over that. There is the U.S. theatrical version, the U.S. international version, and then the Italian original version. My suggestion is the U.S. international version. The U.S. international version. That one has all you're gonna want to see in it. I think the theatrical version. I think for the U.S. got trimmed a little bit. So don't even bother with that. Go to the U.S. the uh, international version on that. Uh, And on disc two of Demons, it's just the U.S. version and the Italian version. I do the U.S. version for Demons 2. I don't think you're missing anything. Uh, And the voiceovers aren't bad in these. So so that's another thing. The voiceovers are done fairly well in here, which is something else that could be jarring to people getting into Italian horror that watch these movies with American-dubbed voices. A lot of times that's just how they did it. The Legacy of Demons 2 with Lumberto Bava's on here. Uh, a soundtrack for Splatter, interview with Simon Boswells on Demons 2, Together and Apart, a new visual essay on the use of space and technology in Demons and Demons 2. It's awesome. These bountiful special features on here. Uh, And uh, as far as this release goes, you can reverse the art. You can either have this artwork on the inside, or you can take it and flip it, and it can have the art for the original art for the two movies. And on the inside, this is what's so beautiful. That lovely, lovely Metropole ticket. 
Uh, I was so happy that they put this in here because I wanted this just like I wanted the Arrow version. I thought maybe that would be it. Uh, and it actually has notes about the transfer. And these transfers were done from the 35 millimeter camera negatives. And they were done in Italy. So they look fantastic. You get an other card uh, that has the birthday party version for part two demons. And it's the same thing about the transfer. Uh, Synapse 2020 production line. I can't wait for the Kindred coming from them finally. And then we get this poster of Demons, which is always a nice touch. So it's a lovely set, guys. Uh, so I recommend this. Uh, look, here's the thing, and I'm not going to be jaded about this. The picture quality on these seriously look fantastic. Mind you, I played them on my 4K TV in my 4K Blu-ray player in my living room. It looks amazing. I mean, these films look crisp, clear, and they have that almost 3D effect that I kind of talk about when I'm watching true 4K. So the 4Ks themselves, you can bet your bottom dollar, they're going to look stunning. There's no denying that. I'm not jaded about that. They are certainly going to look absolutely fantastic. There's no doubt in my mind it's, a waste, it's not a waste of money to get the 4Ks. But because of the circumstances I had, the way that this was a gift, and I did not want to ask my mom to spend $80 on a 4K, I got the Blu-ray set, and I am genuinely happy with these. So these old releases right here, toss them to the side. I'm going to keep these as backups, you know, uh, maybe loan them out to some of my buddies and if they want to watch these movies. But this is definitive. This is amazing. Fantastic release. So uh, if you're not a 4K person, rest assured this is going to be fantastic for you. If you just want to save the money, you can get this. Right now, this is, I think Amazon had it listed at 42. This is right before I did this video. And on Amazon, it has the 4Ks listed at 80. You're going to get the best picture quality available from Synapse. There's no doubt about it. But if you want to save half the money and get this, you can. And I guarantee you, you'll be happy. But if you want to go for the 4Ks, whether you go to Synapse or Amazon, I'll have that link below. And just know, there's no doubt in my mind that those movies on 4K are going to look jaw-droppingly stunning jaw-dropping so just know that guys but this is a really great release from synapse uh the demons one and two great movies gateway to italian horror please guys if you haven't gotten into italian horror yet because i know i have some younger viewers this is it this is the set this is a great way to get into it two staples and the last note i want to tell you guys about this release or not about this release but something interesting is these movies are somewhat known as Dario Argento mo movies when they're Lamberto Bava movies. But what's interesting about this is that I did an, I, I read a, an, uh, a, a written interview in a magazine about these movies, and I haven't seen much literature or video footage talking about this, but in this uh, interview I read from Scream Magazine, which is a foreign press magazine from the U.K., Lamberto does not have good things to say about Dario Argento. He claims Dario took credit for things in this movie that were clearly from Lamberto's brain. He did not like listening to Lamberto on the making of this film. He didn't really trust Lamberto. He would try to pseudo-direct scenes uh, in, in, in making of these films. So Lamberto does not like Dario Argento. I just find that very interesting. But regardless, these movies are amazing. Uh, so guys, there you go. That's the four. That's the Blu-ray version, but there is the 4K as well. I'll have those links below in the pinned comment if you guys want to pick this up from Amazon. You can. If not, check Synapse website as well. But massive recommend. The Demons movies are fantastic. They're they're amazing. I love them. So thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Christian Hunter Horror. You can call me C H H if you want. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please be sure to sub to the channel if you have not for more videos just like this. And we'll see you guys very very soon. Happy early Halloween. Bye.